Mind. Hello everyone, welcome back to our favorite training aids of all time series. This is our third favorite training aid of all time. We wanna talk about the jet stick today. So of all the things we could go out in the marketplace and get, then why is the jet stick number three on our list? Man, this could take a while because there's so many different things you can do with it, right? True, that's true. <laughs> So our favorite thing that we do with the jet stick is the jet stick allows you to create uh, the freedom that you should be experiencing when you play golf. So one of the first things that we like to do with it is we like the player to sense the weight at the end of the jet stick and swing it freely back and forth because that's the same experience that we're searching for when we play. So it allows the player to actually uh, experience what they should be feeling when they play and then they can transfer it right to the golf club with the ball and then they can basically compare those two experiences and use our, uh, our famous one to five scale very good so a lot of you out there trying to get good there's gadgets gizmos bunch of training aids and you're not exactly clear on what to do or how that training aid may or may not help you so having said that uh, the big idea is swinging the club you have to swing it freely we have yep. to stand there and swing make a golf swing you got it. And this this tool helps you to experience that freedom or that free. Yeah. So show us. So if the only thing in the world you were going to do for a million dollars is make a swinging motion, show us what that would look like. Very good. And then while you're doing that, is it fair to say you're paying attention to the weight at the bottom of the stick like you had talked about? That's it. Yep. Just rotating back with the weight at the end of the stick and rotating through with the weight at the end of the stick. Yeah. So it's fascinating how we can take a beginner, somebody who's never played, or we could take somebody who, let's say they're, you know, their friends say they have a goofy swing or whatever, and just getting them to swing this tool without all the rules, without all the constraints, without all the drama, starts to organize and clean up. And everybody in the room looks at them like, wow like that change their swing quickly you got it yeah so the number one swing change tool or the free swinging motion tool is the jet, the jet stick. stick you said you can do other things with it what's so what else you know what's another great thing that everybody wants that we could do with this tool well uh, you can train speed with it as well so there's three basic uh, motions that you can do with the jet stick to increase your club head speed right so we talk a lot about what's called speed out front so the cool thing about the jet stick is it uh, creates this unique whooshing sound so where we're always trying to get our players to swing the fastest, what we, uh, we would say is out front. So a location that's kind of up and to the left. So this location is where we're trying to hear the loudest whooshing sound with this thing. And then there's three different motions that we try to get the player to do with us. Cool, so show us a couple if the only goal in the world, I'll move out of the way so you don't whack the, the thing here. up there. So uh, our friends, uh, Michael Romatowski and Jeff Young down in San Antonio created the most genius speed training program of all time called Mach 3 Speed Training. This is their tools. It delivers. It makes people swing it faster, hit it farther. It works. So this is one of those activities. Show us speed out front. What, you got what could it. that look like? So the first motion that they would start with is what's called half backswing speed out front. So what I'm going to do here is one set of six where I take a half backswing and I'm trying to swing the jet stick fastest here. So that's where I'm listening for the whooshing sound. So those reps would look like this. Notice all the whooshing is out in front of me. The whoosh is not happening down here. It's not happening back here. We're trying to listen for that whooshing sound up and to the left. Very good. Second activity that they're going to have you do in the Mach 3 speed training is going to be uh, what's called two-way speed. So now you're rotating as fast as you can left and right. You're going to go basically hip high to hip high with this motion. And you're rotating as fast as you can left and right. Another set of six. So these look like this. And then the last one that they would have you do is your normal length backswing with the speed out front, two sets of six. Ooh. And you'd be surprised if you just commit to that little program. It's literally, uh, you're doing half backs, uh, speed out front, two sets of six, two way speed, two sets of six, normal length backswing, two sets of six. You'd be shocked how much you can actually increase your club head speed this winter just by doing that three days a week. A lot of people talk about wanting to hit it far. Yeah. If you want to hit it far, you got to try to swing it fast. You got it. Right? Without all the other stuff. So the, the jet stick is our favorite because it allows people to experience the free swinging motion. You can train to get faster with it. Uh, it's a beautiful thing. So it I is. warm up with it every round I play. So it's, it's amazing. So get your jet stick. You can get online at Mach 3 Speed Training or we have them here at GLA. So either way, get you one, put it in your bag. They're amazing. We know it'll help. Yeah. The other thing that you can actually do with this, uh, I, one of my favorites, is making path changes with this thing. Oh, yeah. 
That's the other thing. <laughs> so extremely valuable there as well. So an example of what we might do with this is when the player is swinging it, is we would have them try to swing in different directions. So can you swing uh, what you think is neutral? Can you swing a little to the right, a little to the left, a lot to the right, a lot to the left? So typically what we'll notice is, you know, you ask a player to swing neutral and it kind of looks like this. You ask them to swing to the right and they can do it. It kind of looks like this. You ask them to swing to the left and they can do this. So the player can move the club path any which way they want, and then they get the golf club and the ball in front of them, and then all of a sudden everything looks different. Right. So if you can do it with a jet stick, you can do it with a club and a ball in front of you, but oftentimes the problem is there's some type of attachment to the outcome when the club and ball is in front, and there's no attachment when they're swinging the jet stick. So the jet stick allows people to see that they can make these radical <laughs> changes quick without all the three-step swings and positional golf and drama. So it's a, it's a heck of a tool to find out. You can swing freer, you can swing faster, and you can change your path if you want to. It's no big deal. Yeah, it's actually quite easy. Those are the reasons it's number three on our list. <laughs> so get you a jet stick. We hope this helps you. Uh, we thank you for joining us, and we'll see you next time.